Eight ways to pray during Lent. What do we do when we're facing an upcoming big event, celebration, or special occasion in our lives? We prepare for it. Holy Week and Easter are big events in the liturgical year of the church and in the spiritual life of a Christian. So as Christians, we prepare spiritually for these through the 40 days of Lent. This means that during Lent, we rededicate ourselves to prayer. There are many ways to pray as there are prayers in this world, but a few prayer methods can help us in particular to spiritually prepare ourselves during Lent. One, make your abstinence a prayer in action. As Catholics, we are called to give up something for Lent, chocolate, coffee, that extra helping of dinner, one less hour of video games or watching DVDs, whatever it is, you can make what you're giving up for Lent a prayer as well. A prayer in action. Whenever you encounter that thing you're abstaining from or the time of day that you would normally enjoy it, take a moment to say a prayer in recognition of your wholeness in God, even without the thing you have given up. Thank God for the freedom to be holy yourself without this, and at the same time, acknowledge the gift of its existence in the world. Two, renew yourself through personal reflective prayer. Lent is a time of spiritual renewal. One easy step you can take is to use the many free online resources to jumpstart or reinvigorate your prayer life. If you're seeking more traditional support for your personal reflective prayer, consider a book specially designed to nourish you during Lent. 3. Pray the Stations of the Cross One of the most common traditions of Lent is to pray the Stations of the Cross. This prayer helps us to reflect on the passion and death of Christ in preparation for Good Friday, observance and the Easter celebration. Check your local parish or bulletin for listings of when the Stations of the Cross prayer service is being offered or try one of the many online resources available. 4. Meditate on Holy Scripture with Lexio Divina Perhaps the oldest method of spiritual prayer known to Christians is Lexio Divina or Holy Reading. This method of prayer is characterized by the slow reading and consideration of a text from scripture with repetition and meditation on key words or phrases. Lexio Divina is rooted in the belief that spiritual words speak in the human heart of the Word of God and can reveal the thoughts of our hearts in response to God. Lexio Divina is rooted in the belief that the spiritual word speaks in the human heart as the Word of God and can reveal the thoughts of our hearts in response to God. In this way, Lexio Divina leads to a deeper communion with the Divine. 5. Reflect deeper on your liturgical prayer. When you attend Mass during Lent, be conscious of and meditate on the words you pray in the liturgy. For example, the Eucharistic prayer, the highlight of each Mass, has special significance during Lent. After receiving communion, you may want to sit and reflect more deeply on this great prayer of the Church. 6. Join or start a prayer group. There are many benefits to praying with others. In a group prayer, you're able to offer and experience a positive example, needed support and encouragement, different perspectives, and the inspiration to grow in Christian life. A simple way to get started is to invite your spouse, a family member, or close friend to pray with you on a regular basis throughout Lent. You can also contact your local parish and inquire about prayer groups or prayer circles being sponsored. Or start your own communal prayer group. For example, the Meeting Christ in Prayer Kit offers step-by-step -step instructions, guides, and all the necessary resources 
so even a beginner can start praying with others. Seven, prayer with children or as a family. Being a parent, guardian, or teacher is a holy ministry and a sacred promise. Share your faith with children by letting them see and hear you pray and by praying together. And don't forget about family dinners. Dinner time is a great opportunity to start or enliven a tradition of family prayer during Lent. Eight, start a practice of daily prayer that will last after Lent. Perhaps the best prayer advice is to use Lent as a time to instill prayer habits that will last long after Lent is concluded. Resources such as yearly prayer guides, for example, a prayer book of Catholic devotions, can get you started and help you stay consistent. So enjoy your Lenten prayer and don't think you have to do all the above. Perhaps choose one or two of these prayer methods to concentrate on and then you can more fully experience the pilgrim journey toward Easter that is Lent. Merciful Father of us all, through Isaiah the prophet, you promise that though our sins are like scarlet, they shall be like snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. As we remember our sins and failings, give us trusting and penitent hearts in your unbroken promises of forgiveness. By the precious blood of Jesus, shed on the hill of Golgotha, wash us clean of all our offenses and make us your loving and obedient children, now and forever. Amen. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the high.